Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Fortnite here, and I am going to show you guys how to build a Stonewood uh, base for world games. Now, a lot of people don't like doing world games, but I love to do world games, and if you love to do world games, then I have a base here for you guys. Uh, how to build, uh, where to place traps, how to place traps, and stuff. Oh, I'm assuming you know how to place traps, so uh, we're going to start off with the Storm Sword, the Pyramid right here. Uh, so here's what I have. I have anti-air traps on top of all of the builds, mostly all of the builds, because if you're doing a challenge like uh, Meteos and World Games, uh, you're going to need some sort of defense for the building, uh, the buildings, you know. So anti-air traps do destroy uh, Flinos, uh, Bombers, Meteos, and Propane Tanks. They're really good for trap tunnels as well. So that's what I have up top. Make sure everything is upgraded. It does not matter what you use. I'd suggest using metal, but uh, on this one I didn't really have any metal, so I used brick. Uh, but I mainly use brick and metal for uh, every uh, base. Um, you could use wood if you want to. I don't know why you want to. It's not really that good or strong. Uh, but try to have everything upgraded. Uh, as you can see, I missed something over here, so we're gonna upgrade that. So try to have at least everything upgraded. All right. Uh, now, what do you use to build? Now. It depends on what kind of traps you like, you know, if you want something that does a lot of uh, DPS, you can use broadsides, um, but the traps I use mainly in my uh, trap tunnels are sand walls, zappers, uh, retractable flow spikes, and broadsides. They're really good for countering uh, smashers, broadsides are, because broadsides do have a little bit of an impact on them, uh, so it's really good for that. Uh, Zappos, just good for husks. Retractable flow spikes, they do have break up uh, crowds of enemies, really good. Um, so that's what I have for my storm shield. And I did, I did put traps on the outside of my uh, home base, as you can see. Uh, in case of, you know, some husks, husks get loose, loose and uh, try to attack my storm shield from behind or the side of it. Now, since I'm a constructor, um, I would suggest being a constructor and uh, put in your base. If you're Mega Base Kyo, here's my build I'm using. Uh, it's always good to have supercharged traps as your team poke. Really, really good. Uh, put your base here in the middle so it's connected to everything. Uh, and make so when when you go to the next amplifier, make sure you place your base at the next amplifier. Do not forget that, okay? Uh, but usually when I start up the world games, I'm usually down here, and if any husks get by, I'll just place them on my uh, hover tone like that. Um, so let's go down to some of the other amplifiers. Amplifier A. Now, for Amplifier A in Stonewood, if you place this amplifier, depends on which one you place, uh, they will come from the south and the, uh, and the east. Now, I know this looks like a complete mess, and I know this looks really strange, but as you can see, I have a lot of uh, tire drop traps, okay, and I know it's going to increase your FPS, but if you have a stable connection, and you're always on a solid uh, 10, 30, 50 pin, you won't lag out of the game. Uh, have a LAN cable. <laughs> uh, but I know, like I said, I know it looks like a mess, but it works, okay. The more tire drop traps you have, uh, they're not really going to get past the spawn area. Really, really good. Now, I know people don't use these traps, but I also have flame grail traps. Uh, the, they do a lot of damage, but the thing, the negative downside of having these traps is that when husks are walking on these traps, sometimes they're going to go off. So, what you could do is, you could, uh, let me show you real quick. You could do something like this, so that they get stuck in between the walls. So, as they're walking, they would just like get stuck and then die by the traps. That's uh, another thing you could do. But if you have tire drop traps, it's you know it's good. It's gonna slow them down. Uh, same for this one over here. I use different traps. I like to use different traps for each uh, amplifier, so it doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look bland. It looks much better, you know. So I have uh, broadsides in this one, retractable flow spikes, zapper traps. 
Uh, really good, really good. It works, trust me, it does. I do world games daily in Stonewood. They give you uh, 250 gold. Great way to farm gold. Uh, amplifier D. Let's go check that out. Again, it's just like this amplifier. I know, I know. It looks like a mess, but hey, it works, trust me. So again, this is the same one as Amplifier A over there. Uh, we got Drop Traps, uh, Blaze Traps, Flame Grill Traps, I meant. Uh, and we got Wall Dogs over here. Now, you might be asking, why did I put a Anti-Air Trap uh, next to the traps? Well, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but if Husks uh, come over here with propane tanks and they throw them, the Anti-Air Traps will lock onto them and destroy them. Uh, preventing them from blowing up your uh, traps or whatever you have. Uh, really, really beneficial. All right, and over here I just have more traps. I have electric ceiling fields. I have this blocked off with traps because they're only really going to come from one way up here. They will try to uh, find a way around because this is you know, completely blocked off. Uh, but it's really, really good. Now another thing is. I know you, I might get questions about this, but why do I have traps up here? Well, that's because if you're doing close encounters, uh, they will spawn usually on top of your traps if they're close, you know. Uh, so it's always good to have traps up here. Uh, make sure you place a base up there too and have hover tones with you. Really, really good. Amplifier C. I just have, uh, well, they could come from the south. So uh, if they're coming from the south, they're usually going to come from the south, okay? Sometimes the east, but usually the south. So you really don't need that much traps because they're only coming up from here. You can place down a uh, drop trap here if you want to. It doesn't really matter. But uh, it's really, really good, you know? Um, again, I have an anti air trap in here. I already explained why. Uh, really good. Um, if we go over here, amplifier C. Uh, usually they come from the west too. Uh, in here I have uh, retractable floor spikes, broadsides, zappos, and just more traps. Um, I didn't place that many traps over here. I didn't place any ceiling traps because it does lag my game quite a bit. So I, re I reduced it a bit. I have a trap down here because when they spawn they can just walk on there and die. Uh, over here I have sand walls, electric fields, blaze traps. Uh, I keep calling them blaze traps. I'm in flame grid traps. Uh, really, really good for defending. Uh, sand walls, they would just push them back. I'm assuming you know what a sand wall is, so I don't need to explain it. Uh, amplifier B. Uh, same defense as all of them. I have, uh, I forgot to destroy that, but anyway. Uh, same thing. Uh, tire drop traps. Uh, retractable flow spikes. Broadside, same thing. Uh, so that's really all I have for these amplifiers and the storm shield. Now I would suggest putting some defense up top of your uh, storm shield and amplifiers, but as you can see, most of my amplifiers barely have any building around them, and that's because I need to save up space for traps. Now a lot of people don't don't know this, but um, you really don't need to build around your amplifiers. You only need to build where the spawn is. You need to build trap tunnels because uh, most of the time they're not going to like get past the trap tunnels, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, to so I'm going to show you soldier. how to defend your stone shield if you don't know. Uh, monitors, just a quick little like show, that's all. And I will be doing other videos like this, like Canny Valley, Plaquetin, and Shrine sure Bases for World Games. Uh, so remember, don't always place down your base in the middle. Uh, the traps so they connect all the way through, Time like that. Anymore, Rook. You gotta do the full and time. if they come through the side, like right here, just place down a uh, hover tunnel, and you should be pretty good. Uh, but this is the tornado wave, so it's always good to have your base because the tornado is gonna damage your builds quite a bit. I would stay away from that twister if I were you, soldier. Again, here's what I have on my base. Uh, I'm using my base fire. I'm doing increases damage to traps affected by base by 3.5%. I have gadget cooldown. I have base MB for health. I have fully detained. Uh, it destroys. Uh, uh, can't catch big damage with 
uh, power modulation, the power base stock, and uh, bearding health increases by 20%. Really, really good. So as you can see, I'm doing a great job. The tornado is not even destroying anything I have built because of my uh, base. Uh, really, really good. Anyway, that's all I have for Stonewood. Leave a like if you want to like the video, and I'll be doing Flakerton uh, after this video. Anyway, see you guys later.